But that's not by speculation. But the position that I got, I climb too high to fall, but too hard to drop. Stop clocks on the speed bag. Welcome back, Hookaholics. What is this? This is a mystery tackle box elite. Or is it? I mean, they started out when I first started MTV. Uh, their elite boxes were that gray. And then they thought, okay, well, we'll change things up and we'll go with, with green. Well, why is this one in red? Well, I'll tell you why. This isn't your typical mail order MTV. This is the in-store MTV mystery tackle box elite. This one happens to be their box number 84. Um, I saw this in my trip to Dick's. I was picking up some things, like I said. Uh, I would take uh, in account your comments, and I would choose a few lures from those comments from my January MTB um, unboxing. And then I'd go to Dick's or wherever I could, could find and try to locate similar baits to what you guys consider your January go-to cold water bass baits or fishing baits in general. So while I was there, I saw these. They have them in three styles. They have them in the Pro Box, they have them in the standard uh, MTV box, and now they have them in these Elite boxes. So it's another mm, somewhat gimmicky thing, but uh, they have different box numbers. This one happens to be the style number 84. I had done uh, a saltwater kit box. They have the Guggen Squads Mondo box. That's more specific because you're only going to get Guggen Squad baits in it. I'm hoping this is not like that. I'm hoping this is not all Catchco baits. But seeing as I've never done this before with this brand or with these specific um, in-store boxes, who knows? But I figured I'd grab one. Uh, I think they're $44, $45. So it's comparable to my monthly MTB. Obviously, if you get these on the 12-month program, which I don't, but I should, uh, it reduces the overall cost dramatically because you're paying in advance for the full year. I pay month to month to month. So I pay the top most expensive price you could pay because I'm dimwitted <laughs> for these um, in my one month every time subscription. That being said, let's see what they have in these. Now I'm going to assume, um, it's taped up, I'm going to assume that this is exactly the same as the other ones where you have uh, an outer shell and there's probably just a regular MTB Elite box inside or maybe just a gray box. <laughs> no shocker there. They have the standard MTB beige uh, cardboard box inside. So let's crack out the shell, the outside coating. I wish they wouldn't do that. I wish they would just start printing up these with their, you know, in store version. Um, I'm going to say, yeah, they're about the same size diameter uh, dimensions, both front, back, side to side. As your MTB Elite, hopefully, we'll see an equal value here for our price. Let's see what we got. Now, don't expect to see a what's in the box card. I didn't. I don't remember having that in the other one. Uh, I will list down in the uh, comments or in the description and the uh, see more when you expand it. If I can find any retail prices, I'll just go on MTB uh, on their Catchco website and list the price value, their, their sale price and the standard price if you're a member of, Car of Carl's or not with a line value of what this box ended up actually being. I'll also list the price I paid for it in store. Um, but you get the first look. Ooh, it's even got the ruler. So it's just a straight MTV box, but they're gonna up the ante. There seems to be a lot in there. Um, ooh, that's not bad. Okay, they do have a pamphlet and they do have a card. Let's see what they got as a card. Little MTV card. And they do have, if not the retail prices, they do have the items list. So that's good. I like that because you never know. You never know. Obviously, this one I got was taped. I made sure to get taped ones. But you go to Walmart and tell me, you go into Walmart and you have these people that have no class and no respect. And they go through and you see these boxes, especially this style, pulled out and half of it's opened. And you don't know if the items that are supposed to be in the box are actually still in the box. If you go to self-checkout or go through, you might get home and there's only eight items when originally the box was shipped with nine or 10. So be, be, be very wary. It's nice to see, and I hope MTB continues to do this, even if it's just a sheet of paper in every box or printed on the box itself. So that when you get home, if you're, you're messed up out of an item, um, you know, you're not getting yourself, uh, you know, shorted on that on that purchase price i'll set this aside here so i can read off the items we do get a dibble digest all right 
We've got when or why, when, and where spinning versus casting reels. That's fine for me. Spinning is lighter lures. Uh, spinning is um, for me more finesse techniques. I know that's kind of passe to say. Uh, I've thrown heavy stuff on on spinning gear. Also, I've, I've spinning to me is inshore, offshore, big time for uh, for bait fishing for the ocean. Bait casting is more precision angling where you want to locate and and throw the bait in a specific spot. And for me, uh, a, a bait casting reel has been for deep water when you're off on a boat, deep deep diving, you know, deep sea fishing. Um, I go conventionals and then like center open water lakes. I'm a bank angler primarily, but you know, yeah, you, you, I, there's just times and, and, and reasons, but I, I like that. But that's just my take on it. If you'd like, MTB has their own professional take on it. And then we have the Palomar knot, how to tie a Palomar. I don't really use the Palomar that much, surprisingly. Uh, I use blood knots. I use, um, you know, for line to line connection, I use an FG knot. Uh, I just always have because I have some many, many rods that are micro guides and an FG will let you cast, especially off of a, off of a uh, big casting reel. Um, it, it casts uh, line to line connections a lot smoother and better than any other knot that I've ever been able to tie. All right. So let's crack into this. I'll try to keep this short and sweet. It's about two o'clock. I got to pick up. I got to go wait for the wife to come home and I'm going to go shopping for some things. And I want to get this done before she comes home and screams at me. <laughs> So uh, we'll start off right off the bat, a Weston's Hypo Twist. The Weston's Hypo Twist. This is cool. I think, I don't know, my memory's not what it used to be, but I had gotten a Western lure, a Weston's lure, and during that month, everybody, I believe this was December, uh, everybody was getting these Hypo Twists. I got a Weston that wasn't a Hypo Twist. I got a Weston bait that was a, a different bait. It was a hard front end, but it didn't have the spinning paddle tail on the back. It was a, a different Weston bait. Um, so it's cool that I finally get the hypo twist that everybody else got in that month's MTB. So that's a luck of the draw kind of thing. So we got the Western hypo twist. It does come with a replacement tail taped into the package. I wish they didn't do that. So you get yourself your replacement tail. It's already got the screw in there. So that's cool. And we got a nice bluegill pattern again uh, a little, little bit of a soft plastic from making the dorsal fin uh, kind of stuck to the body so it's hard plastic in the front with that boot tail like your tecker sprinkler frog tackle sprinkler frog uh, rear end paddle uh, again top water small profile still catches big fish it's more of that soft plastic from them molding those uh, fins on but uh, Good sharp sticky hooks. Weston's one, Weston's one brand that I know they use very quality hooks. Um, you're paying for it, so you're gonna expect you know a little bit more out of the Weston brand. So I look forward to seeing that. I'll measure it up and see what the price is of this size and style, and throw that in the description below. All right, so we got the Weston Hypo Twist. Happy to see that again. Uh, 17 grams floating. Um, not a bad bait. It doesn't have a rattle, I don't believe. Since I didn't have one of these before, let's see. Nope, no rattle. So that's cool. All right. And of course, with all Westons, you get yourself the Westons brand sticker. So that's pretty cool. Look forward to throwing that come spring and summer for my top water bites. We'll see how that works out. Next, another name brand, St Strike Pro. Uh, the Beakster. I got this in the last uh, box I did. Strike Pro. Beakster. Slightly different color. Now, this one is in. 90 AYU. Somebody's texting me. Um, we've got the 916th weight. Oh, excuse me. Three and 916 length and 516 ounce. It's a four and a half to six foot diving um, diving strike pro. Again, it's got that, that cup in the lip that gives you a more like lumbering swim pattern because it's kind of like a spade that's been cupped up. This one's in a nice little gold silver color. I like that. I do like that. This is anytime come cold water, I go for the copper tones, the gold tones, the silver tones, muted, uh, muted grays and whites. Uh, come spring, then I start upping it up. The only color that I always throw winter, summer, spring, or fall is crawfish reds. Um, 
and I did pick up from Dix while I was buying this, I did in fact get the jackhammer in the fire crawl. So I'm going to add that, like I said, in the giveaway. Come July, somebody's going to be lucky to get uh, one of those fire crawls. Maybe two. We'll see. Um, I picked up a few. <laughs> get them while you can, right? So uh, I like this. Again, it's a nice mid-range diver, four and a half, six foot. You can run this in a pond. You can run this in a lake. You can run this, you know, open water. I like that. I like the color. So that's the Strike Pro Beakster. Uh, different color than the one I got in my other box. A Yozuri Bait Crystal Minnow for fresh water. Yozuri's Crystal Minnow. It's a floating four and three-eighths inch, half ounce little jerk bait. Um, little diver because it goes down to that, uh, that four to, uh, excuse me, it floats, but it, it does dive because you got a little diving bill on the front. So you can get it down there and float back up. This is the kind of jerk bait that I do like in winter, uh, floating jerk baits, because you can you can tug them down, you know, throw them out, bomb them out there. If you want, you can throw it out and then troll off, and then jerk it down really fast. Get it down there, bouncing off of things. As a floating jerk bait, if you do have underwater logs, uh, hard structure, and you happen to get it caught, you can slack line it and let it try to back off and float up. It's less likely to lose uh, your lure, especially off of a boat. Um, when you have that option, it, it's a floating lure, you can stop it, back, let it back off, it might clear itself, float up, and then you can start jerking it back down and, and keep retrieving it towards you. Um, got a nice, a nice chartreuse yellow side, got a little orange on the, on the gill plate, um, nothing on the, on the chin, just straight white, and it's got a blue blue back. So that's not bad. Um, they just, I wish more packages would have colors. Oh well. Anyway, JDM products, always good. Yozuri, I've never had problems with. I've always respected Yozuri's brand. I do change out hooks on certain lures. Uh, depending on this one, what I probably do is take off that tail end uh, hook, enlarge the front hook. So I'm not going to lose the floating because I'm going to lose the weight of that tail hook and I'm going to add that weight to a slightly larger, wider open gap on the front hook and just swim it as a single treble rather than the, the twin trebles. That's just what I would do personally. Next up, and we got two, four, six, eight, nine things in this box. That's not bad. Nine, my lucky number. Uh, we've got a Big Bite Baits Pro Swimmer in the 3.8 inch. So let's see, Big Bite Baits, big red thing. Uh, fortify with bite juice. Pro swimmer. That's that can't be it. Look in here. Missiles. Ah, here we go. All the way at the bottom. Ooh, and they, oh, they they have a they, they have a decal. They have a decal. It might be even a duplicate decal. So I might throw. If it's duplicate, I might give somebody that decal. Three point eight eight inch. The pro swimmer. So again, I just got this. Uh, similar, similar. Not from Big Bite Baits. From another brand. Um. Paddle tail swim baits. I think it was a five pack. This is a six pack, and I got them in a similar similar color. Um, so this might end up actually in uh, in somebody's in the giveaway as well. So we got 3.8 inch. It's just basically your paddle tail swim bait. Uh, I alluded to how I like to throw these on on uh, chatter baits, and I like to throw these on um, top water buzz baits, um, as well as everybody throws them on jigs or what have you, swim jigs, etc. Not bad. There's, you know, there's six in a pack. I'm going to throw that in the giveaway, guaranteed. Somebody can have some fun with those. Hopefully it'll work with you. I know some people don't like that color clear or that color as, as white. You can go get yourself some dip it or, you know, some chartreuse dip it or some red dip it and just dip that in. Let it sit overnight. It'll soak up the color and then you can swim with it or dip it on the boat. Let it sit for a little bit and dry and you can throw them out. You'll get the scent, the attractant, and the color. That's one good thing about using clear plastisol baits. You can tease them. They have the dip its paint uh, pens as well, or the sprays, or I go for the old fashioned, just the container um, and a Q-tip. That's one of my other things, dip the Q-tip in and paint where I want to. I can paint just the ribs and leave the rest of the body clear. Uh, but that's always been one of those things that, that works out. So that's pretty cool. You can customize it a little bit for what you want. Guggen Squad Zinger. So we got our first Guggen Squad bait. And it is, again, the Zinger with the number two Colorado and the number four Willow. And I think this is the Sexy Shad. I think that's what I got in my MTV was the Sexy Shad. We'll see. We'll see. So there you go. You got the Guggen Squad Zinger uh, regular spinnerbait. 
So, again, this is a 3 8 ounce and sexy shad. It's got the two blades, your Colorado Widow, which is Willow, which is how I like it. Or, you know, I've always been the twin blade, Colorado Willow, or I'll go with, um, well, yeah, typically Colorado Widow. Uh, if I do do single blades, it's going to be the Colorado. I like those, um, or the hybrid blades, um, because I like the thump and vibration on the blade more than I do the flash. I think if me now, as, as an angler in today's world, if I'm really looking at flash, I'm not really honestly going for this. I'd rather go with an A-Rig uh, and throw that because you have the, the bait ball presentation that way rather than just the fish and fish. You'll have multiple fish. I think that today with, you know, modern things, back in the day when this is all you had, yeah, but now with A-Rigs out there, that's, per, for me, that, that basically takes that spot out. So there's that, the zinger. I like that. All right, halfway done. Big Bite Baits Creature Bait. They just call it a creature bait. That was the first thing like that. So this you have a little brush hog bait from Big Bites. You have your, mm, definitely smells like licorice. These are some big, Big Bite Baits brush hog styles. And remember, when you're rigging these, there's two sides to these winglets. You wanna take it over your finger and roll it over now, if you look, oh, I'll do it this way. If you watch the tips of those blades, as I'm rolling it over, you see those blades are coming together, coming together. You flip it over and you go the other way, and you see how they spread out? What you want to do is you want to make sure that when you're rigging this, that hook is protruding upward so that when you run this over your finger, like you'd run it over an underground twig or some sort of structure, that those, those winglets flare out, open up, expose that hook, and when that, when those wings open up, that's going to trigger that bass if it's right there on, you know, an eye shot to strike because that's a that's a fluttering effect, and that's what the bass is going to see. It's going to see that open up. It's going to strike at it out of a reaction, and it's going to expose that hook and allow you to get that hook set, as opposed to this, which hides that hook. You can see they're actually clapping together as I as I force it over top of what would be like an underwater twig. They'll clap together, clap clap clap. Or this side. They open up, open, 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 open. So that's, that is very key. Whenever you have the brush hog, these big bite baits, the same thing. Just the way that it's molded, watch and pay attention. So when you're rigging them on the boat, 10 seconds of flip it over, run it across your finger for, you know, a tenth of a second, flip it over the other way, see, see which way those wings close. You want to be the opposite. You want to make sure that when you rig it, the hook's coming out so that the, wing, the winglets are opening up and exposing that, that hook point. All right, so there's that. Definitely useful. I've got tons of those brush hogs. I love those those baits. Uh, missile baits. So we got a missile baits. It's these here, I hope. So these are a little craw. They call them the craw father. I've got these before. These are in a black red flake, I think. Let's see, black red flake. Getting getting good at these colors. For Forty years of this stuff. <laughs> so we got the missile baits in the black tone. It's primarily it gives you like a purple hue to it. To be honest, missile baits black. It's a very, very, very deep, dark purple black. And then they've got the red flakes. Uh, it's flat on one side and rounded on the other, so it's a flat pour mold, obviously. Um, I like these. These are really good finesse rig uh, fishing because they're small. Um, what have they got these? Quantity of seven. That's not bad. I think they're like a two and a half, three inch bait. So that's pretty cool. Um, the Missile Baits Crawfather. They also have in here Bruiser Baits with their craw. They call them the Crazy Crawls, and these are in Okeechobee, but they call it the Deep Okeechobee Crawl color, so it's, a, it's that blue hue. This, unfortunately, I'm not very happy with. You've got a four count, so to me, this is a sample pack. I'd like to see six or eight minimum, um, but what you're going to do? Very thin claws, so you get a, a lot of light transfer through, uh, so you can see almost straight through it. You can see my finger behind there. Um, and then you've got this nice, very highly glitter-filled top and that, and that green pumpkin bottom that gives you that Okeechobee col color scheme. Dark green pumpkin on the back, bright blue on the top. As the fish are seeing the blue hue through the green pumpkin, it gives you that crawfish Okeechobee color. Again, I don't like the fact that it's only a four-pack, and it's from Bruiser Bait. It's not like it's a four-pack from Gary Yamamoto. I can kind of give you that. Um, you know, whatever. But they do have a 15% off code. If you're inclined to use it, 
uh, MTB Crazy Crawl is the code uh, for Bruiser Baits if you want to get 15% off your order. There's that. And finally, Harmony Hooks Razor Ser Series EWGs. Um, three pack of Harmony Hooks EWGs. Not bad. I'll give, uh, I'll give this out in the giveaway too because you never have too many hooks. So I'll throw that in the giveaway. And lastly, the most important part of the whole box. There's our decal. And I'm sure this is a duplicate. So I'm going to, uh, to give some lucky person on that July giveaway, you're going to get this catch code decal. So you can throw it on your tackle box boat, on uh, you know, book binder, whatever you want to do. So you can have fun with that sticker. That's it for this box. So like I said, I le I'll leave in the bottom the, uh, the purchase price of the in-store Elite. They say there's 9 to 11 baits. So I definitely got the short end of this stick. They say it's around a $60 value. I'm going to say with the Weston and the Yozuri, that's where uh, most of this value came from because they're a higher price point bait. Are they higher? Are they worth it? Eh, that's neither here nor there. But that's where I can definitely tell you how the value went to. I'd rather have gotten some more mid-range baits and gotten 11 items rather than the 9 items. But, and I hate hooks being counted as an item. It's like when you get a tool set and you have 13 Allen keys and they count each one of those Allen keys as an individual item. It's not a 100-piece tool kit. It's like an 80-piece tool kit with, you know, 20 Allen keys. <laughs> so, whatever. Um, but that being said, not bad. I, uh, I think in a pinch, I think as, as an elite version, I like seeing this. If you, if you run into, in this case, Dick's Sporting Goods is nearby your pond or you have a, a, a Walmart or one of these other retailers that will have these on their shelves. If you don't have your monthly MTB or you've never tried it, this is another way to get a hold of them. Um, obviously, I've seen videos of people using the Amazon, getting it out of Amazon. It's not the same. It, well, it is basically the same. It's these, it's these boxes. These are not your MTB's monthly subscription box. These are specifically retail versions of the MTB monthly box. So all these YouTubers out there putting these promotions saying, I went and bought the MTB, you know, I got January's MTB. You don't have January's MTB. You don't. This is not January's MTB Elite. This is merely a retail box. And you'll see a thousand of these number 84 boxes, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, all the same. It doesn't matter the month. It's not a monthly box. It is a retail box. Uh, so put that aside. That's a little thing that piffs me off. <laughs> but that being said, um, I'm, I'm, you know, not overly whelmed. I'm not underwhelmed. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. So I hope this was entertaining. I have one more video to try to squeeze in. I'll probably do that after the wife and I take care of our business. Uh, but thank you for spending some time. Leave a comment down below. What did you think about this retail box? If if I get enough comments, if I get enough likes, if you guys share this and I get some traction, I'll be very happy to take number 84 off the list and I'll go through all these 84, maybe I'll get 96, maybe I'll get whatever other boxes they have and uh, we'll keep running some of these alongside of the MTB Elites uh, month to month. Maybe I'll get one of these retail boxes every month along with the, uh, the my monthly subscription and maybe I'll just get one of these boxes every month if I get enough likes and shares and uh, comments, I'll keep doing it. I might just give away this box every month. So maybe next month, if I see enough traction on this video, I'll pick up another one of these in a different number. I'll review it. I'll show you what's there. And I will pick a viewer to give that box away to. So we'll see how that goes. Give me a comment down below if you think that's a good idea. If not, then I'll just scrap that idea and I'll carry on with other ideas because my head's full of a lot of stuff. But that being said, thank you guys. As always, hookaholics out there, I appreciate the love and loyalty you, you share. Um, we're getting there. We'll get to 1,000 eventually. Uh, just stick it out with me. I'm enjoying this, and I hope you're enjoying it too. To all you out there, keep your lines tight, and uh, I'll catch you all on the next cast. All right, peace, guys. For the victory lap though. Whoa, whoa, they ain't never seen.